Hello, BookTube. This is Alan. Yesterday, Sunday, was beautiful. 70 degrees, clear skies. So I uh, left to go work out at the gym about a quarter of a mile from where I live. And it's right next, the gym is right next to a thrift store. It's the one I told you about uh, in my previous video. We have to hunt through about 10 books. 10 boxes stuffed full of books and so I decided to go in there and see what I could find the first book is uh, Graham Greene A Man of Paradox this is uh, by Loyola, Loyola University Press it came out in 1994 and it's a collection of interviews and impressions by friends and contemporaries edited by A.F. Cassis. And it contributors include Anthony Burgess, John Mortimer, V.S. Pratchett, Peter Quinnenall, Catherine Rain, Philip Tornenby, Evelyn Vaughn, so that's Graham Greene and Man in Paradise. Man of Paradox part, excuse me. This next book is uh, by David Sabal. This is uh, Penguin Press. This is Galileo's Daughter. This particular book came out in Yeah, let's uh, see what the date is. Published the uh, Penguin Books 2000. So, yes. It's, <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's Galileo's, da Galileo's Daughter, a historical memoir of science, faith, and love. This next one is uh, <clears throat> Founding Rivals. Uh, Madison versus Monroe, The Bill of Rights and the Election That Saved the Nation by Chris DeRose. This is a uh, published by MJF Books in New York and is copyright 2011. This, this next one <clears throat> is a uh, I haven't heard of and uh, don't know the author. This is called uh, Food and History by uh, Ray Tannehill. This uh, this is a newly, new, fully revised, updated edition. The first edition came out in 1973, and this is updated in 1988. This is by Crown Publishing. And uh, Ray Tannenhill, she went through the different foods throughout history. Yeah, the prehistoric world, the Near East, e Egypt, Europe, classical uh, Greece, the Imperial Rome, and Asia, Arab world, up to China, and then continues on <clears throat> talking about different uh, <clears throat> foods throughout history and how they ground, grind the uh, the wheat here's one to, and it has a little drawings in it that birds were hung, cleaned, seasoned and then immersed in the brine tub this was in, in Egypt. There's one here. This is a, uh, this is how they grain, uh, in Imperial Rome, they put grain into flour. And they use this, uh, this little thing here. It's called a hopper rubber, a lever operated hopper rubber. I guess you put the uh, grain in that little hoe and you just grind it and, and it made flour. 
So this will be a fascinating read. This is food and history. The next one is uh, The World of G's by P.G. Woodhouse. This is uh, published by Harper and Rogue Books. And this is just uh, it's with P.G. Woodhouse's short stories, The Treasury and the Perfect Butler and the Scheme Brennan Brain Employer Bertie Wooster. So this would be interesting. I've only read one uh, book by P.G. Woodhouse. So this one will be uh, very interesting. It goes on to about uh, 34 stories in here. 40, 34 short stories. The World of Cheese. His last one <clears throat> is by uh, W. W. Norton. And it's the symphony, 1800 to 1900. I like classical music. I always have since I was growing up. I didn't care for the Beatles. I didn't care for uh, Elton John, the Eagles, or anybody else. So, yeah, this is a Norton music anthology from uh, 1800 to 1900. It's edited by Paul Henry Long. And this is, just shows... Uh, particular uh, symphonies <clears throat> during this time frame and um, you have uh, Beethoven you have uh, Hector Berlioz Tchaikovsky <clears throat> yeah, Mendelssohn Schumann um, it just shows the score actually of the symphony itself <clears throat> This is uh, Beethoven's Symphony Number no. Three in E flat major, Opus Fifty Five, Aurora Symphony, and first uh, performance in eighteen o three. Then it tells you the instrumentation here. <clears throat> then it uh, then it begins. This is the uh, first movement. And it, it, it's just, and that's all it is. It's just the, uh, the score of the symphony. The Hector Berlioz one is his, his symphony fantastic, and uh, <clears throat> this is this one here, and it shows shows the uh, talks about the symphony. The first movement is dreams of passions. The second movement is a ball. Third movement is in the country. Fourth movement is march to the scaffold, and the fifth movement is the dreams of which is Sabbath. So, <clears throat> and it has the uh, interpretation, the very beginning. It has the interpretation on, on the side, uh, so you can follow flutes, oboes, clarinets, horns. Assumes cornets, trumpets, timpani, volume um, number one, violin number two, viola, cello, and uh, bass. <clears throat> there is a uh, little thing on. Uh, there's a post on Instagram where a uh, page on Instagram where they pick a certain. Uh, it's a guess the piece. Now what they'll do is they just throw like something like this out there, take a picture of it, put it out there, and you have to guess uh, where it's from. And it's, it's very difficult to do, especially one who is not uh, classically trained. <clears throat> but these Norton music, I was looking at the back of the Norton music anthologies, they've come out with classical, medieval, romantic, and uh, or, harmonic analysis, analogy one for listening so this is very good and this is a this is so this is one of several <clears throat> this last one is uh i got this one because uh steve donahue over his channel was showing a uh, a mail hall in which a uh, uh book's going to come out next year and it's by uh, an author 
and she's going to write this book about the, how she writes. And so, and Steve Donahue uh, told us that she is a very good writer, <clears throat> mysteries. And uh, so I decided to pick her up, pick the uh, the book, a book by her up, and decide to read it and see how it goes. This is Elizabeth George and this body of death. This is a uh, <clears throat> Spectre Linley novel. And this is a, this is a big one. It's like 950, <clears throat> 952 pages for this one. This body of death. It's by the, the Spectre Linley novel. <clears throat> yeah, and she has written a lot of them. Well, that's it for, that's it, and I thank you very much for watching, and thank you, BookTube.